gonna crack a rib When I get home I'm gonna bury you In my favorite hole I made a bloody mess In the kitchen sink I tried to fix my Recently, I've been quite taken with faceted rounds, and I'd like to first say that this frog pattern is my own, but today we'll be following a pattern by Rabbit Paw, uh, and you can find their stuff on Telegram. Anybody use Telegram here? Anyway, let's get into it. I really, really love the color palette I went with today. I usually try to avoid complementary colors at all costs, like especially blue and orange, but my cat beastie is orange and my favorite color is blue, so it only seemed right to do it this way. Anyway, here I am finishing up the front. I really love how it's all come together. And for my purposes, I had to freehand a back panel. Traditionally, you would just make two of the same panels, but I thought it would be cuter if I did the back of the wings. Anyway, uh, I combined them to make my purse bit. Purse bit? Yeah, it's quite roomy in there. Not as big as I wanted, but big enough. Now all that's left to do is add the straps and a tag. I'm starting to do that again. And it's finished. I hope you guys like it as much as I do because I really like it. Okay, goodbye. Join me to make some crap again! Last time I made these purple Saturn earrings and you guys ate them up. So I'm going to be making them again and taking you along the process. Two. Making a little loop like always. Y'all know I need that loop. Perfect. And now the bead goes through. So I've only made these earrings once, but I already feel like I just have a, an instinct to make them because I just know how I think and I'm like, oh, I would do this step next to like make it look good. And this actually took me two tries. This is the second try. It balances well, but it still has a tilt that like Saturn has. And now we add the seed beads. And look at this funky one that I found. Why is it so long? Now we're working on the rings of Saturn, except this isn't really Saturn. It's like a purple planet. 
some type of planet that doesn't exist but i want it to exist you know what i mean i don't know what to call these yet i do want to release them because it seemed like a lot of people were interested in them guys look how it's coming together ah! now i'm just gonna add the little dangling stars just like these guys i failed just kidding finished and they look cuter than ever and i'm so excited to release these i still don't have a name for them yet but give me like two weeks and i'll get everything together and they'll be up on my website so if you want to see more of these make sure to follow me keep tabs on me harass me and ask me when i'm gonna release them because i need that little bit of harassment so i can like get to it you know what i mean gift idea series holiday edition for today's diy gift we'll be making a clay candlestick holder i've been seeing candlestick holders like these all over my pinterest and i thought they'd make an adorable gift so let's make one i started out by rolling out a thin slab of clay and then cutting out a circle you can truly use anything to cut out your circle or trace your circle i ended up using a yogurt tub lid so whatever you find around the house works i promise then from here i rolled out a long coil which I then placed on the edges of my circle. I did this so my candlestick holder would be more of a dish, so the person who I gift it to can use it to put their rings or any other types of jewelry. Now here I'm just blending the two together, the coil and the circle that I had cut out. Don't be afraid to take your time with this step. I mainly used my finger to smooth everything out, but as you see here, I also used the round edge of my clay tool, and I also added some little coils for some extra reinforcement on the edges. Then after all of this was done, I smoothed it out with my sponge and set it aside to dry while I rolled out a mini slab to create the center part that will hold the candlestick. When making this part, it's important that you make it a little bit wider than the diameter of your candlestick and that's because your clay will shrink when it dries. Trust me, I learned this the hard way and I had to make a whole new candlestick holder. Now here I'm just adding some mini coils on the inside for some extra reinforcement and then smoothing it all out with my sponge. These crafts take about 24 hours to dry, so I'll see you guys in part two. Bye! Here are five DIY Christmas gift ideas. Super easy and cheap. Number one, air clay magnets. Air clay for $6 and the back of magnets for literally $3. And then when I would recommend like creating magnets that are tailored to your friend's personality. So if they really like flowers, like make flowers. Or if they're like a foodie, you can make like their favorite food. Basically just customize it to your friend and their interests. I recommend writing a note so your friend can hang it on the fridge. Number two, a charm keychain. These are literally the cutest thing in the world and you can give them to your friend and they can customize all of their purses, their bags, tote bags, etc. If it's more personalized to your friend, I would recommend picking their favorite color and getting charms that are related to your friend. Or you could even just like put their name on the keychain. I'm obsessed and this is so easy. This is literally just like a pin and you can just like hang charms on it and you can get like beads anywhere. Number three, a personalized frame. If you guys have like a favorite song together or if you went to a concert together, you could print out that song and put it in one of these clear frames. Literally get a clear frame for a dollar at the Dollar Tree too. And I would recommend like writing your friend like a bunch of notes of like memories and why you appreciate them and happy holidays and stuff like that number four a memory box print out a bunch of pictures that you guys have together and if you collected like ticket stubs or receipts from like places you guys got food together i would also put those in these memory box on the back of pictures or ticket stubs or anything like that you can write out what happened that day and that experience with them basically like a little time capsule and it, it's so cute get your friend a poetry book and annotate it through every single page and start writing down little notes and reminders to them and you can decorate this with stickers or press flowers or anything this is my favorite gift that i've ever received in my life and it's so cool to look back on follow for more ideas bye